One of the guys up here at Blue Bank Resort that's been up here for about 50 years is Jackie Wayne Van Cleve. Jackie, tell us how you find them bluegill beds and how you catch them. Well, I've been fishing this lake, guiding for 40 years, and one of the ways to find a bluegill is stay against the shoreline, keep your depth anywhere from four to around two foot, and you look for bubbles. When a bluegill's on bed, he'll be stirring up the water and stuff, and you have little bubbles comes up, like little foamy bubbles. You look for them, and when you see them, you've got your bluegill. And what, how are you baiting for bluegill, and how many are you catching, Jack, in a day? I will bait with crickets, waxworm, jigs, uh, different, you know, different type baits, and uh, we'll catch anywhere from 50 to 100. You know, it just depends on the day and what type of fishermen we're taking out, you know. And uh, what what bait usually works the best, Jackie? Uh, I'm going to have to go with the cricket. The cricket does better for me. I mean, it's a summer month cricket. It works better late May, June, July, and August. And all right, Jackie, what uh, what size bluegill are we catching? What's the biggest one you ever caught, and then what's the average size? Uh, the average size bluegill that we keep will weigh about half a pound up. We'll catch, you know, in a day you'll usually catch several pounders, you know, go a pound, a little better than a pound, but the biggest one I ever caught was two and a quarter. All right, all right, so if people want to come up, now when's your bluegill season, Jackie? Well... What we bed fishing, it'll start late May, June, July, and first two weeks in August. But we got a good middle April tree fishing for bluegill. They're not on bed. They're just scattered on these trees, standing cypress trees out in the water, and it's some catching big bulls doing that. Okay.